G'day, it's Shane here again from Wine Grape TV, and thank you for joining me in my home bar. But more importantly, thank you for helping help me spread McLaren Mail wines to the world. Now today, I've got, I'm using my new, brand new toy, the Venturi, and uh, which aerates the wine. Now, what I want to do here is different the last time that I tried a, a 2004 Shiraz from Braden Hill. This time I'm going to try a 2008 Shiraz Clean Skin. Now most people would say, well why clean skin? I'm not going to tell you where it came from. I'm not going to give that away. But, it'll be interesting to see if aerating a cheaper wine has the same sort of effect and opens up the wine the same way that did on a more expensive, um, exclusive estate wine. So, let's open this thing. Now, give this a rinse. Wanky thing, here we come. So you saw me open that, no breathing time, anything else. So this is McLaren Vale Shiraz from the region between uh, McLaren Vale and uh, Wollonga uh, in the Tatachilla sub region, unofficial sub region. Right, so I'm getting the usual plum, right? Um, almost like a bit of sweet fruit there, um, just starting to come through on the nose. Not a lot of uh, oak characters coming through, but you can just get a hint uh, that there's something there, and I'm assuming at this stage that it's American oak, because there is just a tad vanilla coming through. For a clean skin, uh, this is pretty damn good wine. Now that is good. It's some good fruit expression. Um, the usual Shiraz plum, a little bit of uh, blackberry coming through, so it's really nice fruit. Um, in fact, I'm surprised that this really is a clean skin. Um, I'm going to try it again. There's a bit of vanilla note coming through. A slight bit of cedariness, some nice tannins. It's not drying, it's tannins are not overpowering. There's no bitterness from the tannins. Um, and for an 08 wine, it's not stewed. As um, quite a lot of the fruit from the 08 vintage was. So now I'm going to put it through the Venturi. Now I'm not going to show the Venturi again, but if you look at my previous uh, Lonely Grape video, um, there'll be a picture of how the, um, sorry, a video of how some of the Venturi has actually worked. You can hear it, do its thing. Really getting the air in there. So, what difference is this going to make? Slightly better definition, I think, yet again. Um, the uh, the oak characters, the vanilla is coming through a little bit more than what was coming through last time, but still those same lovely plum blackberry fruits. But yeah, definitely that vanilla characteristic coming through much stronger than what it was previously when it was first opened.
first of all, that's a nice one. Secondly, I think it has opened up just a little bit. I won't say huge mobs, remembering it is only, uh, what, a couple of years um, old uh, compared to uh, the previous one that I showed in the last video uh, that was much older. Uh, but certainly uh, the Venturi has made some amount of difference. Probably, as I said, just fractionally less uh, than the previous one. So all those same characters before, the dark fruit compote, uh, the vanilla and oak, there's a nice mouthfeel, um, getting more of that tannic mouthfeel at the end. Whereas before it was just on, the, on say, on the tongue. Now I'm getting the mouthfeel on the tannins, across the teeth, cheeks, um, gums, uh, and of course the tongue. So um, quite, quite nice. And yes, again, uh, the Venturi has had an effect. So look, I know it's a toy for me, um, but I think it does have a place in terms of aerating a wine in uh, such a short amount of time. Um, we all seem to be time poor these days, um, so it is a potentially useful tool for those that want to come home from work and crack open a bottle and think, oh, well, I won't do it because I've, I need to let it breathe for ages. This tool um, is, is a great opportunity opener for some of those good bottles of wine. So that's all the time I have for Great Wine and Grape TV this week. I hope you enjoyed it, even a small proportion of what I've enjoyed uh, passing this on to you. And uh, I hope you have a great sa safe week, uh, with the emphasis on safe. And we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Bye.